You can then take our T, our subway system, which is a historic entity. That in itself is an experience. Up to Fenway Park, which was pictured in the montage. And you'll walk around Fenway Park, and it's October 2012. The park was built in 1912. But next October, you will still feel the depression and the malaise of the greatest collapse in baseball history, <laughs> the Red Sox of 2011. You can then take the T over to Harvard, the birthplace of American higher education. Ten minute trip. And give this a try. Go to the Harvard bookstore, the Coop, buy a Harvard t-shirt, a Harvard hat, put it on, take a, on a slight demeanor of seriousness, quizzicalness, intensity. On the way home in the plane, folks will say, you went to Harvard, right? It works. And then you can come to Mass Bay Community College. Those of you who are runners and walkers, why don't we do Heartbreak Hill together, that iconic part of the Boston Marathon? We'll go from Mass Bay up to Boston College. It's about three miles on that undulating, never-ending hill. And if the legs still allow, we'll turn around and come back to Mass Bay Community College. So there's so, so many things to do. But I have to give Narcissa and Noah their due and talk about the conference, because you have to go to that too. Boston, the ethos of Boston and the ethos of Massachusetts is the perfect place for the ACCT conference. The economy today is driven by research in universities and corporations and by a world-class workforce developed by the Massachusetts Community Colleges. The leadership of Massachusetts has come together and developed a vision plan for higher education. Commissioner Freeland has written the plan that talks of access, it talks of student success, and it talks about doing away with inequalities in student achievement. That plan for higher education in Massachusetts reads like a mission statement for community colleges. And the governor has embraced it, and it is a great time to talk about the community college mission as Massachusetts is realizing the preeminence of the community colleges in advancing our society economic and socially. And finally, for almost 400 years, Boston has been a major port for immigration in this country. And that continues today. Boston is a very diverse city, represented by the diversity of the world. And Massachusetts continues to welcome immigration in spirit, in substance, and in public policy. So again, what a place for the ACCT convention. So let me introduce, once again, Pamela Julian, our alumna and trustee from Massachusetts Bay Community College. Well, it, it's going to be an honor and a privilege for you to come and uh, stay in our wonderful city. And this is uh, a special moment for me because I was actually born in Boston, so I'm a native. Uh, and I was just looking at some statistics before I arrived this morning that one in five Boston residents are students. And as you know, we have so many colleges. And just recently, uh, just to reiterate what John had to say, that Boston was chosen as the top 10 city for innovation globally second to Paris. Are you excited? So, but in all fairness, this is about public education. And where better to be than the birthplace of public education? So I know that the mayor, Mayor Menino, and Governor Patrick are going to be so excited um, about you coming to visit. But in all fairness as well, we must attend the conference, correct? <laughs> So, and I'm sure it will be an enriching educational experience, a great opportunity to network with educators, 
and uh, legislators um, about uh, what's happening with public education, but I urge you to take a vacation. Why not stay just a little bit longer? Visit Martha's Vineyard. Visit the North Shore. Uh, visit Cape Cod and the islands. It is actually also, Boston is voted as a top city for walking. I often walk the entire city because there's so much history and rich architecture to see. So I'm really excited about you coming. And again, I urge you to take a vacation, incorporate it into your conference experience so you can truly enjoy uh, what Boston has to offer. Thank you. Well, hopefully when we get there, Boston won't be, will, the Boston uh, Reds will uh, still be in the hunt. <laughs> My wife and I had the privilege of uh, visiting Boston about two years ago. She was a uh, participant in the Harvard Kennedy School of Government. And uh, I went over there for my conjugal visit. Uh, but uh, we, were, we, we had a great opportunity to visit Boston, to visit Cambridge, uh, to go to the wonderful restaurants down there, visit the, see the cuisine, and oh, eat the cuisine, experience the cuisine. And uh, I'm, I really encourage you if you, well, no, not if, that you will be joining us in Boston in 2012. Um, ACCT also has an exciting Governance Leadership Institute on Diversity, just around the corner, November 10 through 12 in Tampa, Florida. I hope that your college will participate in this exciting event. And finally, we look forward to seeing you at the National Legislative Summit in Washington, D.C., February 13 through 16, 2012 at the Wardman Park Hotel. I know that's gonna be right in the middle of Valentine's Day, so start making your plans now. Uh, behave, be good, so that your spouses will allow you to be there during Valentine's Day, if not bring them along with you. And also, I want you to uh, remember that uh, in your, in your uh, tables are the evaluation forms, and please complete them and leave them here before you leave. I want to thank you all for the support that you've given me and for the support that you've given the Board of Directors to have this legislative summit here. Well, again, to thank the, city, the great city of Dallas for their hospitality and having us here. And uh, as I mentioned the other day, the voice of God has many names today, and as it's been, it his name was Shane. And I want to thank Shane for his, for his service with us here today. And please remember to thank the staff and uh, safe travels to all of you as you, we go back to all our different corners of this great and wonderful country that we call the United States of America. God bless you. Breakfast is served. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>